Hello, CLK. We've been talking a little bit about waste-free lunches lately. Have you ever wondered how to pack a waste-free lunch? Well, there are some things that you want to avoid. Number one, you want to try to avoid using plastic Ziploc bags that you throw away into the garbage. You want to also try not to pack things that come in their own tiny little packages. You know, like those little bags of chips and things like that. You also want to try to not be packing things like yogurt in their own little individual uh, packages. Applesauce comes that way. Pudding can come that way. We want to try to not pack things like these juice boxes and juice bags. Plastic silverware that you throw in the garbage. Paper napkins that you throw in the garbage. And even paper lunch bags. We want to try to not use those. Why do we not want to use these things? Well, because we throw them all away and they enter trash mountain in the garbage. So these are all kinds of things not to do. What should we do? Let's look. Some things you want to do when you're packing a wa waste free lunch is you want to try to use some kind of reusable container like the ones on the screen that can be used over and over and over again and they don't have to be thrown away. They don't need to be super fancy. They can actually just be any kind of reusable bag at all. It doesn't have to be a lunchbox even. You want to think about what you're putting inside. Here's the inside of my lunchbox and you can see I have a reusable container for my lunch. I have a real fork, not one that I throw away. Over here in this corner, I use those to flavor some water that I have in a reusable water container. So it's still something that I can drink other than water, but and it's tasty, but I don't end up having to throw something away like a juice box or a juice bag into the garbage can. This is also another picture of different kinds of reusable containers. You can have any kind of reusable container you want. Some people actually even reuse old containers from things like cottage cheese and sour cream and those kinds of things that have good tight lids on them. Um, they reuse those instead of throwing them in the garbage and that's a good thing too, to be able to reuse something else. Also, we don't want to be using those paper napkins like we saw on the last screen, so what do I do if my face is messy? Well, I might want to use a cloth napkin that I can use a couple of times, wash when it's dirty, and then reuse it again. But not everybody has a, a cloth napkin. So something most people have in their house is a washcloth. That can even be an option to pack in your lunch, to be able to wipe your mouth with, take it home, wash it, and then you can reuse it again in another way. So those are just a few tips on how to pack a waste-free lunch. Remember, our goal is to not have to throw anything away.